Welcome back everyone, my name is Echo. Today's video is a brand new episode of the Minecraft 1.3 Q&A series. Now last week's episode was absolutely fantastic, you fully enjoyed it, and the questions you left in the comment section are the questions I'm answering in today's video. Now if you do enjoy this and you want to see some more Q&A episodes, be sure to hit that like button. Now although I said this is 1.3 Bedrock Q&A, I am kind of wanting some questions for the console edition, and maybe one or two questions for Minecraft PC, because this Q&A is just a focus on Minecraft as a whole. So let's get into this. I'm starting this video with last week's question. Now always answer the question above me. Last week's question was this saying, do we need a new dimension? Question mark, and 97% said yes. 2% said no. I don't know why you guys would say no. If you said no, leave a comment down below as to why you said it. That equals 99%. Where's the other 1%? I really don't know. I also left this comment in the comment section saying, so what type of dimension does Minecraft need? And here's a couple of your answers. The top one said a dream dimension. The other one says prison dimension from Minecraft story mode. The next one says afterlife dimension or ice dimension or fairy tales dimension. The other one says, well, I feel like we need to have a heaven dimension and new bosses. The other one says a cave dimension. So when you have a cave with every ore, you don't have to go far to find the best caves. The other one says, what if there was a dimension where you could find some people and they would send you on quests and you could get good loot, the rare items like diamonds, dragons, sorry, dragon eggs, dragon head, and much more. I like the quest one. The other one says underworld dimension and the bottom one says aether, dream, or corrupted dimension. So thank you all who left your opinions. Again, maybe I'll do the same next week. So diving into today's questions, the first question coming from Jamin had 24 thumbs up. So if you agree with somebody else's question and you want me to answer it, make sure you thumbs it up. It says spectator mode is in the MCP game code, so it could be coming next update. I just wanna make sure you guys understand this. There's a lot of things in the game files for Minecraft. Remember, stained glass was in the game files for a super long time until we had the introduction, which I believe was 1.1, 1.2, possibly 1.2. So just because it's in the game files doesn't mean it's gonna be released. They're just in the game files by default. It's the same for PC version. It was the same for console version and it's the same for pocket edition. However, with it being in there, most of the time it is likely that it will make it to the version. For example, we had structure blocks. They were in the game coding, then they were introduced. Although they're not useful, they're still in the game files. The next one says, Q&A, will devices such as iOS and Android ever be able to export worlds so that we can create our own maps? Fantastic question. And this is something that I need to ask the developers about. So one of the greatest features for the Windows 10 version is that you can download maps, upload maps, but you can export them. You can export them to your desktop, which creates a .mc world, which makes sharing maps so much easier. Now this question is more for iOS because Android users, we have the third party app, which is Easy File Explorer and other Explorer apps. Um, so what you can do in there is go in the game files and actually create maps and share them to mcpdl.com and much more. iOS users are very limited. iOS users can download worlds that are .mc world, but we cannot export them. We cannot share them anywhere unless you have a PC. So this is definitely something I would like to see in the future because console version being Xbox One and soon Switch aren't really gonna have any form of map sharing. Map sharing in Minecraft ever since it started on PC was one of the biggest things about the game. So I love that question and I definitely think it's something the developers are gonna have to look into. Because again, map sharing is such a big thing. The next one says question for the next Q&A. If they get Minecraft Bedrock for PS4, how do you think they would use an Xbox Live account for multiplayer on it? Because you can't connect through Xbox Live on PS4 on anything or any game. And that's the complication. And that is the main reason why PlayStation 4 don't want the Better Together update. The reason why is because PlayStation themselves don't want Xbox to run Xbox Live profiles on their platform. It kind of diminishes their name. PlayStation is PlayStation. You have your PlayStation account. That's it. So the only way it would work is if PlayStation and Xbox worked something out 
but the only way you can play realms or the only way you can play servers in the better together update is by using an xbox live account if you're not connected you cannot join so maybe the playstation community will get the better together update but they won't quite get the realms or the servers which kind of is pointless or maybe they'll have realms that only playstation community can use which kind of defeats the purpose of the better together update the better together update is bringing multiple platforms together so solid that's a great question something i can't answer only something that playstation and xbox can figure out themselves the next one had 21 thumbs up love this question q a will we ever get more sea mobs we only have squids and guardians oceans are boring i fully agree with you probably the greatest question in today's q a oceans in minecraft are boring oceans in real life are scary there's a lot of monsters out there there's a lot of mobs so I definitely feel that Minecraft does need some form of a sea life update because put it this way guys, we have guardians. Guardians are fun. But the thing is, you know where guardians are always going to be. They're always going to be around guardian temples. So if you look at Minecraft in the overworld, we have creepers. Now creepers are everywhere. The good thing about creepers is you never know when a creeper is going to pop out, which is kind of like the element of surprise. In water, it's kind of like a safe zone. You always know that you're not going to be attacked unless you're around a guardian, which is mo most likely when you're looking for a guardian. And squids in real life are actually kind of dangerous. Squids in Minecraft aren't. Great question. I don't really know. Maybe an octopus. That'd be pretty fun. Maybe we could have like some kind of plankton. I don't know. There's lots of possible options for the oceans in Minecraft. Best question today. Love it. The next one says, Echo, if the better together shaders are coming, don't you think the community can make just as good shaders? Another fantastic question. Yes, we are getting the super duper graphics pack, which is going to bring shaders to Xbox, Windows 10, and of course the Pocket Edition versions. And you know, modders and add-on creators and developers in the community are going to rip those shaders apart and make better shaders which is probably why this is taking such a long time guys the shaders are going to be absolutely fantastic and the community are just going to keep making better shaders which are going to be completely free which is probably why they're making this first shaders pack paid i don't know if they're going to ever introduce more shaders but what the community community can do in minecraft is fantastic shaders on pc one of the best thing we've ever seen in minecraft so yes Hunger Bell, I love that question. The community would definitely be making amazing shaders, 100%. The next one says, why are they changing Minecraft textures? So I've talked about this quite a lot over the past couple of months because all the textures in Minecraft are completely changing. It's starting on PC, then it's gonna make it to the bedrock, then it'll more than likely make it to the console version. And eventually every version will have the new textures. Apparently Jeb announced just saying that the textures were really outdated. Some of the textures we have in Minecraft have been there since the game first released. So Japa, who's the main developer on these textures, is kind of revamping them. He's done all the woods, he's done trees, he's done grass, sand, mobs. Every single thing in Minecraft is going to be changing. So I guess it's kind of like an updated refresh. I wouldn't worry about that. I'm pretty sure we'll all get used to it very fast. The next one says, when will structure blocks start to work on Xbox, iOS, and Android? A question I really can't answer. However, if you don't know what he means, structure blocks only currently work for the Windows 10 version because you can export it to some th Remix 3D. And Remix 3D is kind of like a 3D version of your Minecraft world. It sucks. They need to make structure blocks like the PC where you can pick up things, place down things, copy things, and so much more. When's it gonna work? I couldn't tell you. There are so many things that need to happen for Minecraft Bedrock that I definitely think structure blocks has got to be at the bottom of the list. First, I need to optimize it. First, I need to sort out mobs despawning. And there's so many things that need to be fixed. But good question. Hopefully, it will be fixed for the old versions, though. The gaming with that Q&A. Will we ever get features where we can hold torches and other stuff in our offhand? Yes, 100%. They are working to making sure we can dual wield every single item. Torches would be a great addition, especially for mining. If you're mining, you touch. It means that you don't have to repeatedly change especially if you're using a controller you don't have to repeatedly change your buttons to then place down a torch to change it back to a pickaxe or to change it to a sword um so yeah all items will be accessible via the offhand i believe currently it's only maps the totem of undying and arrows i think that's the only three that we have i think 
Originally, it was just arrows in the totem of undying. So, yeah, I would love to see torches first, before anything else. The next one says, uh, and last one Q&A, will they ever make it so you can add custom servers? I'm guessing this question is relating to Xbox um, Better Together, because on Windows 10 and on iOS and Android, you can literally play on any server you want. Not just Lifeboat, not just Mineplex, not just... Um, in PvP, you can type in any IP and play different servers. I don't think this is ever going to be a thing for the Xbox community because when you expose the community to more servers, the possibility of bad things happening always increase. So I think this is always going to be limited on what servers they want. However, the server list will improve. I would definitely like to see things like Broken Lens. I would definitely love to see different servers like Sky Islands, not just the same repeated, same mini games, Cake Wars, Money Wars, Sky Wars, survival games. We'd have something very unique, which is why I liked the console edition mini games, Glide, Tumble, and um, uh, Battle, survival games, Spleef, and Glide, which is just the Elytra race. They added something very different for the game. They were just so unique in the way they were played. The next question from Harris says, a Q&A question. Will there ever be real accounts for Bedrock or will we always use Xbox Live? I can't play with my bro on servers because my mom says no to Xbox Live. We're always going to have to use Xbox Live. From this moment going forward, you will always have to use an Xbox Live account for Realms and for servers. This is a good thing, not a bad thing. It stops hackers, it stops cheaters, and if you get banned on a server with your Xbox Live profile, then you're banned. So, yeah, Xbox Live profiles are going to be the way going forward. It has been for a long time now. I think it's a good thing rather than a bad thing. The second to last question says, Will we ever have the power to mod Xbox One and Switch Bedrock version? I may mod it on 360, but I'm waiting for NBT on those platforms. So that had 22 thumbs up and modding, by this do you mean like add-ons and stuff like that? Now the developers are currently working on API modding, which is what PC modding has. It's coming to Bedrock, which means it's coming to Xbox, which means it's coming to Switch. This is kind of a question for the future, not really a question I can answer now. I can give you my opinions on what I think is going to happen, and that is, I think modding will be across all platforms, but for Xbox One and Switch, it's going to be extremely limited. Modding on 360 isn't meant to be a thing. We're not meant to be able to mod your 360 console, never mind 360 Minecraft. But for the Bedrock version, being Windows 10, iOS, and Android, modding is kind of encouraged, the developers love it. Um, so hopefully that's going to be the way for the Xbox and the Switch platforms. Another good question. The last one in today's video says, Q&A, hey Echo, do you think colored beacon beams will be mixed colors when combining two or more colors? Also, do you think they should introduce pistons having faster tick, like in Java Edition, into Bedrock, e.g. a sticky piston spitting out its block when activated by a very fast redstone signal? I don't really do, do redstone, but I definitely do see that the redstone does need improving. A lot of my friends who use redstone all the time say that this redstone on Bedrock is very tedious, especially since they've been used to the console versions for a long time or Minecraft PC. So redstone definitely does need to be optimized. It does need to be improved. As for the beacon beam light, great question. Something I actually didn't know that they didn't have is that when you combine two different colored glasses, it doesn't give you a different color. So for example, white and black should give you like a gray design. Very similar to how dyes work. It doesn't happen on beacons, so I'd love to see that. I don't know why it wasn't introduced when beacons were first introduced to the game, but that's the questions for this week, guys. Absolutely fantastic. Probably one of the most enjoyable Q&A episodes I've done for a very long time. So if you did enjoy this, guys, please be sure to hit that like button. If you have any more questions, leave them down below. Currently, we are waiting on 1.2.5 build 3. Hopefully next week will be the release because 1.2.5 is a pretty useful update, especially for inventories, creative, survival, and much more. I've been Echo. Have a great day. Stay beautiful. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.